Today, today's a shoulder day. So on our program, we have progressions, strength progressions that focus on your squat. So, you know, if, you, if, if it's a leg day, you're not gonna do back squat and front squat. So progressions typically revolve around one heavy movement and a progression typically could be four weeks, could be a little bit longer. We're now moving into our second progression in our swole series. Right now, we're concentrating on time under tension. So everything this week that we've done consists of usually four seconds on the way down, a quarter rep, back down and back up. So we're working on that stretch reflex and then also a lot of time under tension. So what we're gonna be doing today for shoulders is we have a push press, which allows us to push up more weight than we would normally be doing because we're using these big legs to press the weight up. So we're gonna be here, bend, press the weight up, and then we're fighting at four seconds on the way down. That four seconds is a lot harder than if you just pressed it up and came back down. So you're not gonna be able to use the same percentage as you would normally. You know, if you normally do push presses with 225, you're no way you're gonna be able to do eight reps of 225 with a four count eccentric. It's just not gonna happen. So we're basing all of our movements today off of our one rep max with that taken into account. So for the shoulders, we have our big primary movement we're doing first, which is our push press with a four count lower, it's gonna get heavy. Um, and then we have band pull aparts, so we're supersetting that. We have neutral grip seated dumbbell press, and that's one and one, like one, three seconds down, up a fourth, down and up, and then flat bench W and Y press for shoulders. Uh, upright rows, lateral raises, incline rear delt raise, cable lateral raises, and these are all tempo. These are all four seconds on the way down. So this is gonna be a grueling, grueling shoulder workout but the pump is gonna be insane because that's one of the things you get. A lot of blood force in here with, under that, with that time under tension. And then we have hit today. Today's a beast of a workout. And it's pretty much like this for the rest of this whole phase. So get used to it. We're, we're not gonna get, it's not gonna get any easier. We're just gonna get better at performing these types of things. We're gonna get mentally prepared to do this today. So that's why I'm rocking my headphones. Days I don't warm up, I can now tell. So it's been about four straight weeks of solid warm ups, I can definitely tell. Moving into push press, we kind of went over what a push press was slight bend in the knee, boom, up over top of the head. This is allowing us to use more weight on the eccentric part of it. So on that concentric, we're using some leg muscles to help push that weight up, and then we're fighting on the way down. This is a lot of anterior delt tricep there at the end and then we're just tearing down muscle when we're, we're controlling that eccentric with that superset we are doing a band pull apart on the band pull apart the main thing i want to do is retract my scapula keep them down and back you can see i kind of set my shoulder blades at the very beginning of this pull apart and then i never let the band go slack so it's just a little bit wider than shoulder width i would start off with a lighter band if this is a new movement, it's a lot of tiny little muscles here, keeping those shoulders healthy, people. When you're doing push press, you don't want a shoe that has an air bubble. Because as I'm going down, I come up, there's so much shock that's being absorbed in there. You want a hard surface shoe, and I have just the one that's gonna match. I'll be right back. Boom, camo on camo. Vans, you guys know the deal. These are actually waterproof too. Just in case it floods in here today. Those did not match, Steve. Yeah, I know people. I won't let you fail. So I got my man. He's from my, he's from my high school back in Idaho. So when he needs a spot, we're right here on the money. He's thinking about coming down to Dixie next year. Next year, right? Two years. Two years. You're, you're just a junior this I'm year. I'm a junior. Okay, two years. All right. I like it, though. He's getting strong. He's in here working. He's going to be in here tomorrow at 5.30 or 5 a.m., he said. So, all right, I got your spot here. Tight core. Force those knees out wide, out wide, out wide. Come on, come on. Good set. That's all you. Good set, man. 
shout out. My man, tell the people where they can follow you. Zach Millward. Uh, What's your I, don't know, I don't know my handle. Ah, I hate <laughs> it when that happens. We'll put his handle on the screen here. But shout out to Centennial High School, Boise, Idaho yeah, representing. After spot, my man, we are now moving into our second superset here. So this is a three second eccentric. We're utilizing the stretch reflex here. So I come up a quarter, so down for three seconds. I come up a quarter of the way, pause for two seconds, then boom, boom, as fast as I can. So that's requiring us to recruit motor neurons that we're not used to firing. And really it's taxing the central nervous system a little bit more too. So that stretch reflex, we're taking full advantage of that. All sorts of strength benefits that can come from this when you're needing to move weight and you're wanting to recruit fast twitch muscle fibers. This is what we're learning how to do. But boom, straight up. Again, a lot of anterior delt tricep in here. You're gonna have to use a weight that you're probably not used to. Uh, it's you're gonna have to go lighter on that. And this is our, our WY raise. So right to a W right there, and then press straight out. A lot of trap three here. If you have any shoulders in impingements or imbalances, this one is really gonna show those. So come up straight, rotate, and up. I use a slight incline on this. Um, flat was just way too difficult for me. Hardest thing for me is keeping my butt down on these. So rotating, and this was probably a little bit too heavy for me. So you don't need to go heavy on this. This is a great shoulder health movement. Moving next into our upright row with a four second eccentric on this. A lot of time under tempo in this training protocol that we're following right now in the SWOL program. Everything is gonna be slow, controlled. This is our second progression in this program. Just tearing things down. I did not go four seconds down there. We're supersetting that with just a seated dumbbell raise. This is working that side head of the deltoid trying to keep my arms as straight as almost as straight as is locking out the elbow i don't want to be completely straight out but just slightly bent coming out pausing four seconds on the way down and i never go arms straight down when, when, once we relax our arms here we're taking that tension off the deltoid these start burning like crazy and the reason i do them seated is so as i don't i don't start swinging then with that we have our rear delt. We gotta hit our rear delt here. So moving on from that. This is, I'm trying to do four seconds on the way down. This was by far the hardest exercise to slow down the eccentric part of the movement. So do your best here. You might have to go super duper light, but the more we, the more we pronate our wrist, the more rear delt's gonna be coming into these. So I like to oh, pretend I'm just pouring out water. Yo, my peeps here from Colorado. He's got, he's got arm day today. <laughs> he could not get more kitted out from the fat grips to the occlusion bands, to the easy bar curl. Yo, he's about to have 22s right now. <laughs> Pipe on pipes! <laughs> I love when people come into the gym. Just honestly, all week long, it's been so cool to just see from people everywhere on their spring break. Next up, we have behind the back lateral raise. So again, this is working that side deltoid, fighting things on the way down, four seconds. We have 10 reps here. I'll put the description to this workout in the link below. People really liked that last time. You can see I'm just leaning away from it. This just allows me to do a, a full range of motion. Again, to keep more tension on it because we're not, we're not going straight up and down, angling away, so we're actually getting a wider arc. Great shoulder pump today. Give this one a go, give this one a go for sure. Cardio, you gotta make cardio fun. I hate cardio. I just don't like, I mean, I, I go in bird. I just don't like, I mean, I, I just don't like, I mean, I go in bird. Like it in spurts where I'm like, oh, I really like cardio. But truth be told, you, ask, you tell me to get on a treadmill and walk for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna do it very, very often or as often as I should. So today, we like to have fun with the cardio. So we're doing a minute on, minute off. We're picking five things. So minute on, minute off, minute on, minute off. We have three rounds of that. So working time, we have 15 minutes total. So we're gonna pick five stations and we're gonna go through those stations, three different rounds. Stations are box jumps, sled pushes, 
Ball slams, tire flips. Where's my tire at? Oh, right there. And then what are you guys doing? Burpees? Flexing. Flexing. A minute of flexing? Let's see. Let's see. A minute best. on. Best flips. We got push ups for one minute. Can you do push ups for a straight minute? Uh, if you're next to me, let's do it. That's pretty good. If you, if you can do a full minute of push ups, that's not easy. <laughs> what do you, what's your favorite form of cardio? My favorite form of cardio? Yeah. Like if you, if battle you, ropes. Oh, battle ropes. We're going to do battle ropes too. Yeah. Battle ropes, tires, ball slams, box jumps, sled pushes. How many is that? Is that five? Five, right? Okay, perfect. That's what Everything we're doing. Everything in the gym. <laughs> Let's try this. Such a better way to do cardio. Get in, do your work, feel like you're gonna throw up. That's what I used to love about athletics, about sports. Usually at the end of your practice, coach just gets on the line. You know it's gonna be tough. You know it's gonna be tough, but you get through it and you're better, better the next day. That's how you get in shape. You know, one coach always says, it's easier to stay in shape than to get in shape. And that's the damn truth. It's easier to stay in shape. So if you're in shape right now, don't let yourself get out of shape. And if you're not in shape right now, like me, let's do it together. All right, thanks for watching. We should be hitting a million here in a couple days. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm gonna go stretch.